Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. This is episode 28. And last episode, we played around with some crops, went through the Twilight Forest, made a couple of machines. But in this episode, we are going to kind of get away from this for a little bit. I'll come back and check on this as needed, but I added a little gold chest to this guy. And that's just been collecting a few resources for it that we have planted here uh some random stuff and we're slowly trying to continue our efforts to get stick read which has not been going very good but one of these days we will get some sticky read but anyways in this episode i want to work on a little bit of automation for aluminum uh, our issue with making aluminum is alumina. So I've been getting this from manually making mud with water and dirt in a mixer and taking these mud balls, putting it through the extractor, uh, and then the extractor makes the mud balls into clay balls. And whenever this is done, I take the clay balls, throw it in the macerator, and that gets me a half of a clay dust. So I want to automate this process, and I have a little bit of a plan to do so. So let's walk through this real quick. So I'm going to need one MV electrolyzer. Uh, we're going to need two MV turbines to power the stuff. Uh, one LV mixer, one LV extractor, macerator, and I think a packager might help put the, the little dusts into a full dust. And then we'll need the transformer for one of these turbines to power these LV machines and not have things blow up. Um, for the input, we'll use an iron chest. We'll put the, the dirt in, into the, that will help me put the dirt into the mixer. And our output will be four of these barrels because we have four outputs here. It's a silicon dust, sodium, lithium, and alumina dust. So that will all be stored in barrels. Let's get away from these machines because they're loud. Um, and then one of the outputs is also water. You can see that 16 clay dust gets you the four outputs also gets you two buckets of water. So I was trying to think how I could get this water back into the system to create the mud balls, but I don't really think I need to do that. I, instead, I think I'm going to, um, let's see here. I think we'll have an LV electrolyzer to then go ahead and uh, electrolyze the water down into hydrogen and oxygen. So then we'll have a little bit of a storage of these two elements going on, which will get used uh, very soon. So it doesn't hurt to start stockpiling some of this stuff. So I think I think I have a decent plan kind of going ahead. I got a lot of crafting to do. I should have everything I need to make this stuff. I don't think I've made a transformer yet. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I want to put batteries in between uh, battery buffers in between the turbines and the machines. So I need to figure that out. So maybe we'll add battery. Um, we haven't made an MV battery buffer, so maybe we'll we'll do that to MV battery buffer and LV battery buffer. Make one of those and one of those. So yeah, this is this is the plan for this episode. Let's see uh, how long this takes us. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll work through all these machines, get them all crafted up, and then I think I plan on putting them somewhere down here. Trying to start utilizing the space down here, so we have this kind of stuff. Oh, this stopped oh, because we don't have enough of that. Um, cool, I can start doing some sticky resin and get us some more refined glue. 
uh, yeah, but I think I plan on putting it maybe either on this wall or this wall. I don't know. I kind of I'm leaning towards this wall because I already have this sort of set up for steam. Uh, if I was going to put it on the other wall, I would just need to run steam below and have it come out over here. So that I can figure out down the road, but for now, let's get crafting some machines here. kind of run into some problems with the super tank I think we're gonna hold on the, off on this for now uh, only because I don't have polyethylene uh, straightened out yet uh, we'll probably get to this very soon but um, for now I think we're gonna use these uh, two of these medium voltage fluid tanks and as you can see I kind of went through a little bit of a process to we first started to go for this and we started working on the pulsating iron dust but um, I kind of then realized I needed polyethylene so we're gonna pivot towards the this tank and uh, we made some dark steel dust so we could this was the dark steel dust was really the only problem I have with had with making this tank uh, now we're getting that cooked up in our EBF and we'll flatten those out to plates and have two tanks so this is kind of where i started the tanks and uh then we will get to making all of these machines some of these machines are kind of repeats we already have them but we'll kind of show little clips here and there of me kind of crafting all this stuff up and then we'll get to placing it all and watching it run for a little bit
so the next problem we ran into with polyethylene is the MV battery. So may, I don't really think we need the battery buffer at this point. Um, as far as the electrolyzer goes, we look up clay dust again. So the clay dust recipe requires how much power? So 120 EU and our turbine generates 128. So if it's directly onto this electrolyzer, I don't think we should need a battery buffer. So maybe this will just have to wait until we get polyethylene. Um, yeah, that's fine. So moving on. that I didn't mention before, but we're gonna need them. So let's just double check here. Um, we did the MV electrolyzer, the two turbines, the mixer, the extractor, the macerator packager. We did this transformer. Oh, we didn't make the iron chest, but I could do that really quick. Oh wait, let's not check that off. Um, uh, I didn't make the barrels yet, but I can also do that really quick. We got the LV electrolyzer. We made the two tanks and we talked about that. We weren't gonna use this for now, but we do have that. So yeah, now I just gotta figure out, actually, you know what, before we figure out where we're gonna put it, let's make the the outputs or the input chest and then the output barrels real quick. I think we this I decided I'm going to put it on this wall here because I already have steam coming kind of through here. So I'm obviously going to need some I think I'm going to need some item pipes. Obviously going to need a few cables which I don't uh I didn't rubberize yet, but I'll figure this stuff out after we place all these. Um I'm going to attempt to do this on camera, so this should be fun to watch here. Um let's just break out Oh, I probably should have planned this a little bit better. Um, I guess for now, let's just do, we'll copy this. So this will be like a pillar similar to what we have going on over there. And I don't know how much room I need for this. So we'll just kind of take out some of this. I hear a chicken in the background and I don't know where that chicken's at. Um, all right, so first and foremost, the uh, we're going to need the mixer. I'm also gonna need to get water over here. So the mixer, let's put this, hmm. let's just put the mixer here for now. Yeah. So mixer goes here, and then from the mixer, it go, needs to go into a, an, an extractor. And then from the extractor, it'll go into the macerator. Like that. And then from the macerator, it needs to go into the packager. 
So maybe the packager we'll put here. And from the packager, packager. So then, oh, you know what? I'll probably need to make another LV, at least one LV turbine for to run this bad boy. I didn't think of that. So we'll make that here in a minute. Um, so from the packager, it will then go into the electrolyzer. So I'm wondering, let's just put that here for now. Um, and then what else do we need here? So it'll kind of go from here. So uh, dirt will be placed into here. And uh, let's put the chest, we'll just put the chest up here for now. So dirt will go into here. Water will also go into here at some point. And then uh, it'll make mud. Mud goes in the, into the extractor. Makes clay balls. Clay balls go into the macerator. Creates clay dust. Gets packaged up to make the full clay dust. Clay dust gets put into the electrolyzer. So right off the bat, I know that I will need one turbine right here feeding into that electrolyzer. And then let's put the other turbine. Um, hmm. I guess let's put it here for now. And I'll need forex cable to go straight to here. Oh wait, no, we need to we need to bring that down a notch. So let's put it um, let's put it here with the transformer right here. And this is the that's the MV side. This is the LV side. And then we'll have cables going here. That will power that. All right. Uh, this is kind of hard to do thinking this through on camera here. Um, so that should, that'll get it power. Uh, we need to bring steam over here. So basically what we want to do is auto output on this one to the bottom. And then auto output into the bottom there. And auto output to the right. And this one will be to the top. Okay, so is there something we need for this packager to make the dust? Let's see here. Unpackager. So we need the this thing, the schematic dusts. Okay, the schematic is made by so four. Okay, that's not too bad. We can go make that real quick. All right, I think for this I needed to put a screwdriver at the bottom right. Yep, and that kind of broke this almost. All right, so then now that we have this electrolyzer, this will need to have its outputs put into four barrels. Um, and we will place these four barrels. Um, hmm. Maybe I want to move every, uh, maybe we'll one, two, three, four. Maybe we'll put them up here. And then water. So I will need maybe a pump to get the water out. Um, hmm. Because this is going to, we do extract there. And then we'll take some item pipes and put those on here. Like so. Did I already put the output here? Um, 
um, auto output. So this will auto output this stuff, but then we also have the water. We go into the electrolyzer. So we'll have a pump here. That's how we'll do that. We'll just put a pump in between here, which I think we have one. Okay, so wait, do we need a pump? So auto output, I wonder if I just do this. I wonder if it'll auto output the fluid into here without the pump. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Um, so let's go get our wires too. And we'll plug in the wires to this. Wait, yeah, this, 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 and this. And connect them up. And we connect it to here. Okay, so once we get, we will run the potent pipe. Um, we'll run it like this, boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, dang it, I'm one off. Okay, <laughs> let's go get one last one. Okay, that's powering that which means this should be now powered. Um, let's put one of each of these in here. So I think let's just put alumina dust in this one, lithium, sodium, silicon dioxide. All right, um, what else do we need? So we got to put this in the packager. Right there, we have two tanks that will so basically, this is going to have some cells in it, and it, uh, I want to get it to bounce it back and forth here. So I got to figure out how to do that. So whatever gas goes in the cell will bounce into this. It'll output or output the gas into here. The cell will go into the output slot, and then it should bounce it back into the electrolyzer. Uh, I know that's possible. I've seen other people do it, so I got to figure out how to do that. I think we want to do this. Um, oh, maybe I need a conveyor on the tank to bring it back. Okay, so I'll have to go make a conveyor. Uh, and then I even I did this. I don't know if I'm going to need that for the gas that comes out. I don't I don't know if I need this. But then we I know I'm going to need a a pipe or a pump uh, to extract the fluid here and then we want to oh wait no that's not what i want we want to go into here and i think it's export we want on there well i guess we'll see when it gets all powered up but let's get our last potent pipe here and I will get some water just to, oh wait, I can't, <laughs> I left all my cells over there. Um, just to test it out, I'm going to grab some water and some dirt. Um, so, oh, I need a conveyor up here as well. I need two conveyors, okay. And then this should power all of my other machines. So I still need two conveyors, so we'll get those in a little bit. But for now, let's put this in here. I think it's, is it circuit four? Yes. Circuit four there. Now let's grab our cells. We'll get some, some water here. And I, I guess I'll have to put the water right here. So this is going to screw up my little design, but I didn't I didn't like this design anyways. So we'll have to rethink that. Okay, so this is going to make mud. It should be putting the mud in the extractor. The extractor is going to. So this 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 goes slow, but that's that's okay. This is going to be like a passive thing here. So so that made the clay ball. The clay ball now goes in to the macerator. The master and then it. Okay, so it macerated it and then put it in the packager. Uh, the packager packaged it up, sent it up to the electrolyzer. Nice, this is working out 
pretty good. Okay, so let's see here. Then this is going to electrolyze. Does it need a circuit? I can't remember. No, no circuit required. This should send the items up to here. So we have one in each. Let's, let's lock these. Uh, okay, and then I need to make sure that the water goes into this electrolyzer, which, um, let's do that. So the water will go, I want it to go into this electrolyzer, it's going to electrolyze it down, and then one of the gases goes into here, and the other one that goes into the cell will go into here with a conveyor belt. Let's go make two conveyor belts. One. All right, so I got two conveyor belts. Um, I ran some water over here. Don't ask me how I did it or where it came from because I'm not telling. Uh, it's maybe a little embarrassing, all right? So we want one conveyor belt here to import dirt. Okay, so that should be good. Um, we got a little bit of dirt here, so let's go. Wait, what? Um... No, that's not. Okay, maybe we want this one. I think. Is that that screwed things up here? Um, so there's eight dirt, and I think it went in here. Okay. Um, so that's good. That's good. This is not. Oh yeah, this is going down into here. Boom, boom, boom. This already has water in here. We already got items put up here, so the water needs to go into here. So that is going to require one... Okay, so yeah, we need to put a pump here, I think, maybe. Pump. And then that's going to put the water into here. Perfect. So this is going to need... Where is it at? Right here. So I think we're going to do this recipe. So we need circuit three in a cell. So circuit three. And then I'll put a cell here. But before I do that, I want to put a conveyor belt. Hmm. Do I need two conveyor belts? Maybe not. Maybe we just need the conveyor there. Uh, but first, let's do... Uh, let's just put one cell in here. Um, am I doing something wrong? Oh, wait, this isn't powered. I still need to make... Okay, we need to make a LV turbine. Okay. Got it. Let's go do that. All right, that gets us our basic... Um, steam turbine. We also are going to need one more potent lard pipe. Did I have any more potent? I sure hope so, yes. Yes, I do. Alright, there's our large pipe. Perfect. Let's do this. My inventory is quickly becoming a mess. All right, so this is going to go here. And we're going to point it that way. And... Um, sure, why not? We'll just do like that for now. Yeah. All right, so that is powered now. And that is working. So... My hope is that the cell goes in here and the gas, the other gas goes down here. So let's check it out. Okay, so we have auto output item. Okay, so did we do this? Okay, I put that in here. Perfect. Hydrogen goes in here, and then if we put the conveyor belt on here, that should 
Um, oh, wait, maybe I need to do this first. Hold on. So we want to export that, but we also need to do input from output side allowed. Perfect. Okay. And then once this is done, this oxygen, did I do? Okay, we want to export that. Okay, we're, we're doing things. We're doing things. Okay, why didn't the hydrogen go in here? Um, hmm. Didn't we do this? Why isn't that going in there? Do I got to do this? No. Hmm. Okay. What did I do wrong? Oh, allow input. This is what we need. Right? Yes. Yes. So now these should get pushed back into here, right? Right? It's going to take a... They're LV, so it might take a little bit. Did we do it correctly? Yep. Okay. Well, I think... So this system is fully automatic. We are we kind of did it just for Illumina. Oops. But we also get all of this great stuff. And on top of this great stuff, we get hydrogen and oxygen. And eventually I think I'm gonna change these out for super tanks, but uh we need to get into polyethylene, which will most likely be next episode. So the way this goes is we put dirt in this chest like so the dirt gets pulled into our mixer like so so it's an lv conveyor so it takes a while uh water also gets pumped into this mixer creates the mud balls the mud balls then get pushed down into the extractor the extractor makes clay balls the clay balls get pushed down into a ma macerator Macerator makes small clay dust. The small clay dust, small pile of clay dust, gets put into the packager, puts it into the 4x4 to make the regular clay dust. The regular clay dust gets electrolyzed in an MV electrolyzer, and it pumps out these four items here. So what is it? Silicon dioxide, sodium dust, lithium dust, and aluminum du alumina dust. But it also has a byproduct of water. The water gets pumped into another L into an LV electrolyzer, which gets electro the water gets electrolyzed down into hydrogen and oxygen. We did it. Uh, this is kind of our first automation. This stuff doesn't really count. That's that's newbie stuff here. This is uh this is getting a little bit more technical. Uh, all right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm I'm pretty pleased with our, our progress here uh and i hope you are too i hope this is was kind of an informative um episode here of making alumina dirt kind of passively through or alumina dirt aluminum dust passively through dirt uh i don't think i've seen this kind of being done in the very few youtube uh greg tech new horizons playthroughs that i've watched um i'm not super informed on it but I definitely have watched a few and I, I haven't seen this process kind of being done. So I have always kind of made Illumina through this process. So, um, but I've never really automated it. I've kind of just done it like I was doing it before, just manually taking stuff out of a chest, putting it in a machine, taking it out of the machine and that. But uh, yeah, so Illumina dirt for aluminum. And I've been kind of letting this run for a little bit. Uh, I've kind of took all the stuff that I've had in chests and everywhere and kind of planted it all here. I put some of the, the gases that I've had are laying around and put them in the tanks. Now, these tanks are going to fill up pretty quickly and then back up the whole machine. So 
Uh, I want to get into polyethylene, but I think there's going to be a few steps I need to do to make that process a little bit easier in the future. So uh, I'm thinking for polyethylene, I want to go the, I think, wood gas route. Uh, let's check it out real quick before we end the episode. So uh, wood gas, and we're going to... I want to make a pyrolyzed oven. I've never made one of these before. So you basically just take any kind of wood, run it through this pyrolyzed oven, you get wood gas. Uh, you can then distill the wood gas down into, what do we want? Uh, oh, right into ethylene. So wood gas into ethylene and then ethylene with oxygen will get us, where is it at? Wait, do I have the wrong thing here? Um, oh, right here, molten polyethylene. So ethylene and it's ethylene and oxygen makes polyethylene. So you just got to find the right one right here. So yeah, I think that's the route I want to do. I used to do like, a, I would go and pump out oil and distill the oil down and then crack it with hydrogen or whatever, and then get the ethylene to make the polyethylene. So I think we're just going to do the wood gas route. Seems simpler. Uh, just got to make that uh, pyrolyzed oven, which is a quest in here. And it's it's kind of a big multi-block. So we're going to need to make some more coils and make a bunch of these pyrolyzed oven casings, which needs a bunch of bronze, a bunch of iron, a bunch of steel. So not something super difficult. But yeah, I think that will probably be our next episode, kind of learning how this guy works. Because uh, I'm also going to maybe either make a new one or repurpose the, this one after we have a bunch of polyethylene to make uh, benzene. I've seen people use this to make benzene. So that will be our future episode. So uh, thank you for watching today's episode, episode 28. And I hope to see you in the next episode. And have a great day. Bye-bye.